Hello, quick intro. Today we are showing you step-by-step -step how to solve the dial puzzle. I'm gonna show you how to take it apart. I'm gonna show you how you can put it back together. And then at the end, we're gonna have a bit of fun and see how fast we can solve the dial and claim our fifth world record, legitimate world record. It's a pretty simple puzzle to get open. Uh, it's not easy to solve first time, completely blind, not knowing how it solves. Uh, but when you can follow the steps like you're about to, it's, it's a very simple process. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna show you how you can open it first, then we're gonna have a quick look at the insides, and then I'm gonna show you how you can put it back together, which is even easier than taking it apart. So before we start, I'm going to be describing this with the dial side, the bit that says dial on it, and the Hanayama side, the bit that says Hanayama on it. Now the first thing we need to do is get these bits on the right side. Now you'll see that there's a thicker bit and a smaller bit, a thinner bit. The thicker bit should be on the side that says Hanayama in the writing. And then once we've got that, all we need to do is then position these dials in a correct position. Now there's a few positions that you can get it into where it opens, uh, but I'm gonna show you a position where it's what I think is the easiest then step on from that, and that'll make sense in a, in, uh, in a while. So, when we're on the Hanayama side, we want the dial point in, well, I call it down and left, but you want it to the left of the Hanayama writing, so about there. Now keeping that in that position, oh, we actually want the dial in exactly this position, essentially pointed straight up or to the right of the dial, however is easiest for you to be, for it to be described to you. Now the next thing is if we've got it in the right orientation, it will actually spring open a little bit. Now when you're getting these in the right positions, you need to bear in mind that there's actually four different variations of where it could be. So obviously this isn't the right one, so I'm gonna hold the dial in position and twist the Hanayama bit around, and there we go, so we're in the right position. If that wasn't the right position, all I'd have to do is do the same, swap those top to bottom, and then alternate these as well until I found this position. So once we've got it open to here, all we then need to do is twist the Hanayama dial to facing down. We turn it anti-clockwise so it's facing down. Then what we do is we turn it over and you should at this point be able to turn the dial into this position and you'll get a slight click when it opens a little bit further. Then we don't have to touch the dial anymore. All we do is come back to this side, the Hanayama side, and this is really simple. All we have to now do is just keep turning the Hanayama dial anti-clockwise and slowly but surely, it will keep opening and opening further and opening further until we get to a position where it folds outside of each other. So we're here and then all we have to do is just push those dials in a little bit and we separate them here. And that, is how you solve the dial puzzle. So now that we've got it open, I'll just show you quickly why it opens and how it opens, because that helps in the, in the understanding of, of getting it open in the first place. Now you'll notice that there's two little pegs on this side, which is the dial side, and this little maze on the Hanayama side. So what happens? When we first get it lined up, what happens is one of those pegs goes through the maze into this little circle here. Now, the, the, people, the, the part that people struggle with is getting that second peg through. So if we're sort of separating in this angle, then that first peg goes through quite easily, but no matter how much we turn the dial side, because this peg is up in this direction and the only movement that we've got in the, these bits is this position, that second peg's never gonna go through. So what happens is, we get through with one peg, then we turn it into a position where the dial side can actually turn. Because the dial side, if it's not in the right position, it's not going to turn. So what we then need to do, so once we've got the first peg through, we then uh, move that out of the way by turning it this way. Then we get a little bit of movement in the dial puzzle and that's when the second peg goes through into that circle. And once those pegs have gone through, all you then need to do is keep twisting and that little, this little gap is a good thing and a bad thing because it, it helps us get the whole thing open when both pegs are on the inside of it 
but it's a nightmare when you've got one peg on the inside and one peg on the outside because it makes you think that you've made, you're making progress when, when you're actually not. Uh, so that's how it works from the inside. Essentially, the key is getting both pegs into the little circle and out of this big circle. And that makes it much, um, and that is how you solve it. It's impossible to do unless you do that. And putting it back together is actually easier than taking it apart. So we're gonna get the honey armor piece. We're gonna pick the thickest bit of the dial. We're gonna place that in there. We're gonna do the same with the dial side. Now for here, we need to make sure that these two pins on this side are to the left hand side or to the open part of here. Then what we're gonna do is line them up. It doesn't really matter which side the Hanayama dial is on. Then all we're gonna do is line them up. Now the dial side dial has to just separate a little bit for these to come together. And then eventually they should slide into the Hanayama side. And once they're in position here, this is simple. All we have to do is just keep turning the Hanayama dial until everything clicks and closes all the way back to the very start position. And it's as easy as that. So there we go. Like I said, it's a fairly simple puzzle to, to get apart when you know the solution, obviously, and, and even easier to put it back together. Just put them back together and twist, 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 twist until it's back at, at its starting position. So now we'll have a little bit of fun and see how, oh, I'm in the right position. Hey, how about that? So now we'll have a little bit of fun and see how fast we can actually solve it and claim what is probably our fifth official world record. There we go, took about 15 seconds to get it open. Uh, what was that? It was already in position to get open? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was genuine. I just happened to be in the right position. I'm that good, it magically sprung open in the right position. No idea what you're talking about. I think that's about five world records now in total that I own. If you think you can beat that time, please comment below with how fast you have done the dial puzzle. And if you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful for you getting the solution or just if you just enjoyed watching the, the speed solving, uh, then please subscribe. There's some videos over here for you to watch as well. My face, just click that to subscribe. Comment below with how fast you did it or how helpful you found the, the steps to get it open. And I'll see you next time. Peace!